what is up legends we are back with some more girl cafe gun all right so um i was trying to help out a friend and he was like dude can you just make a video on it because i'm just wasting time right now so i was like all right fine literally this video is because of him <laughs> but it is something that um it should be said and i figured that I should tell everybody so obviously i have to file her um everybody should have her by now so it's not that big of a deal unfortunately i got her on a day that i can't do anything of really about her because in order to build her up you have a certain amount of ways to actually do that so let me um show you something and tell you something real quick that you should do and you shouldn't do um on days where it is not their day and the bounty hunt it's not that great to go into the hard stages and farm because you most likely will not get the item. You can go into the military shop if you want to and try to buy the pieces, but you won't get much of the pieces, especially if it's not there. So it's best case scenario just to wait to Saturday or Sunday or the actual day in the week that is her time. She is Tuesday, so Tuesday, Saturday or Sunday for you know getting her unfortunately i got her on wednesday so it was the day after there's not much that i could really do about that i could have farmed beforehand um but i was farming other stuff so there's not much i could do about um limit breaking her right now which is fine i can just do it tomorrow which is going to be saturday um so yeah she's going to replace be replacing moon it's not that i'll be taking anything away from moon she's just going to be replacing moon in the starting lineup now the reason why I told you guys orig originally to not just you no know, just ignore characters and um, not build them is because of what happens in support. Now you're gonna notice that once you get to level 30 in support, you open up three slots right here in your support, and you get stats according to those three slots. And on top of that, you get an attribute bonus according to that as well, as long as you use the same attribute as the main character. So you can see right there it says attribute bonus on all of them and i have a level 50 character in each one now these are necessarily characters that i'm going to maybe want to use in the future and this technically is your mono team right there if you want to go with a mono um element in the game you probably want to put the characters that you're going to use in that mono element right there whether it's um obviously anybody that uh is going to be a gold or four star you want to put them in there even if you don't plan on using that character you can even go as far as if you get dupes to actually put a dupe of a character in there. Although I would, I still would use the dupe on an actual character. But if you're a whale, who cares? You can do what the hell you want to do anyway. So, yeah. So as you can see on Lita, this is what I have on Lita right now. This is part of the reason why Lita is just under 6k on power right now. She can get higher, of course, but that's just where she's at right now. We have Moon, who's at 4,800 because Moon isn't that high. Right now, she's just under 30 on her um, affinity. So I don't have the um, well, affection. I'm sorry. I keep calling it affinity. Affection. I don't have it at level 30 yet, so she doesn't have that slot. But you do see I have um, two characters that are at 40 right now, which is pretty good. And we have um, Irene over here, who Irene is going to be staying, and Irene is just under it. Um, I do have to work on getting Irene some more characters up, and again, it's in your best interest to limit break these characters, but I don't have, again, this is not the day for limit breaking, as, as well for the mech people, so I can't do anything about that as well right now. But she does have two characters that are 40, and that's where her power is at. This helps you at end game and your total power. And you see I'm at 15,686. 15, and this is where we're at. Now you also have modules. Now you can actually get good more. Oh good. I don't know why I even said it like that. You can get better modules in hard modes. So let's just go into campaign or what you see where i'm at right now i kind of stopped doing the stages for the most part not that i can't do it it just stopped because i'm concentrating on farming and getting you know gold and everything else so if you go into here you notice that you have the chance on getting good modules right here so if you're actually 
intent on farming or trying to farm um it's kind of okay they drop once in a while it's not a really good drop but if you are intent and keep excuse me and keyed in on actually doing that they're there um they do seem to drop more on bosses once you actually complete the boss like right here it'll actually appear so just keep that in mind also as soon as it loads and coordinated attack you notice it also is right here let's do it let's do one right now um because i need to actually unlock a higher what the hell is this why is she here hello no It's almost triggering. There we go. I'm sorry to this person who has to wait on this. Um, and my gun. There we go. I don't even think this person is here. We'll give it a few more seconds. We could go by ourselves because we, um, when I put my character at full power, the only reason why she's like that now at full power is because I'm using Irene as a support, and Irene's a level 70 character too. I, don't, I, I wanted to, but I don't think anybody's gonna actually come in here. Yeah, we're not gonna waste any more time, unfortunately. Sorry, um, Ella. But you see, you can actually get it in there. You also wanna pay attention to your data drill, which I kinda really don't, but the reason why you need to pay attention to it is you get rewards here, which helps you out. I definitely need to um, snatch that. There, we need to snatch that. You also get to buy some of these drills. The reason why I need to snatch it is because I need to give it to my leader so I can't. I can um, upgrade more of her of her skills so she can be even more OP than she already is. Thank you, Data Drill. Um, let's receive and send all. Thank you. That's more stuff done. Give me that. This game is, as long as you play the game, it is continue to just keep giving you stuff. And I think that's it as far as everything. And um, this should help my friend. This should help all you guys when you want to get to whatever power that you want to get to. Um, again, team wise, you can kind of do what you want. I see people who is like, oh my God, your team passive, man. F the team passive. I don't care. I want the characters. <laughs> like the team passive is like so small, like, uh, like 5%. And like I don't care about the team passive um this team right here is why I call it leader rush and the reason why I call it leader rush is because they AOE the face off of everything that comes on the screen nothing gets to live nothing gets to live and if it does get to live it's gonna get AOE down pretty fast between these three characters now what I'm actually doing when I get she Luxia is I'm she is more of a single target and she's a more of a boss now direct down now to combine her with Lita would basically be Lita like pretty much shredding the um, shields and she should pretty much is going to be DPS single targeting down the boss which she can actually do that she has a more directed cone of a DPS and then when she gets her ads out which is pretty nice that can handle um AoE and tactically hit stuff as well and then you just have tactical irene just being tactical irene doing her thing so i'm gonna lose a bit of aoe but i'm gonna gain more boss kill and more mapping so those of you guys are used to stuff like diablo 2 diablo 3 and path of extra will understand why i'm taking moon out you know that's just what it is um i could take irene out but then i won't have the close-up 
character that speed attacks. So it doesn't make any point to take Irene out. It's either Irene or Moon, and I choose to take out Moon. So just is what it is. And, and in the future, if there um becomes somebody else that I can put in the Irene spot, I'll take her out. And then I'll probably have the team passes and then, you know, people will be happy. But F the team passes right now because it's like almost it's, it's like icing on the cake. It's not even something that I need to be worried about right now. Uh, other than that, I will catch you guys next video. Also, start working on worrying about what your um, mono teams are because you're going to actually need to do that eventually. So this keep that in mind all right catch you guys actually you know what let's summon i want to leave you with a summon just because i can see if i get grainy because if i get if i get three star grainy then irene might get kicked out too and i might actually get uh wait what is yuki exactly oh actually that'd be perfect if i did get her because she's gonna be support Look at the, I got 10 tickets. I'm not using them. Think she might have actually came out. Nah, she didn't. I think I might actually got grainy though. Don't get a nosebleed. That's cute. Yeah, I actually did get her. Yep, there she is. This is a good summon. The reason why I would take out Irene is, um, did I not have that shield? Maybe I didn't. Um, the reason I would take out Irene is because I don't have anybody healing. That resets my counter. She's also support. I could just use her. No, she's speed boss support. Nobody want that. <laughs> Nobody want that. Oh, everybody. Um, this is who I want. Summons a healing device, restores HP and max for a second. Um, team member healed. Takes 8% less damage. Again, when the team member takes failure, and she gains damage immunity. Shield restart shield recovers 20%. Has a 600 second cooldown shared among team members. So. What this essentially does is make me rethink what I'm going to actually have to do now. And um, that actually pushes Shiwuksha out as far as the, um, the Defiler version. I have to decide whether I want to keep Moon or, um, or Lita. Because all this really does right now is this makes you un indestructible. It's completely indestructible. It's, it's almost impossible for you to die. Which is good. And I can just let um, Tactical Alita and whoever I make the second character be like this. They just shred DPS. And you can actually give um, a Granny a gun. So this is an interesting choice that I'm being faced with right now. And that was perfect. I literally don't have to summon anymore, period. That's it. I, I don't have to go in there anymore at all. And on top of that, uh, the the Wish Granny. Now I have characters that I can actually do that. Because I don't think I had two that I can actually push the 50 in the first to begin with. That was a very good summon. That knocked out everything I needed. I don't need Yuki, so I don't need to, to stay in there for that. So again, I have to actually figure out what I'm going to do now. It, um, 
Lita is the carry. And now I had to decide whether I want to keep Moon or um, or Irene. Moon helps out a little bit as far as what I want to do. It, this is it's actually a really hard choice now. Really hard choice. It's crazy though that I was it was like on a whim that I came in here and actually got to, she is so good. You guys don't understand how this is for content in this game to push content so you don't freaking die. <laughs> the hard stuff, not the easy stuff. Like you I, I got all the way up to where I'm at right now. Basically as is, but the really hard stuff in the game that's coming up, you need her. You absolutely need her. And she makes boss fights really easy too. That's a crazy shield. Oh no, so I, I had to figure this out. Gotta figure it out. So I'll catch you guys later. Be legendary. Good luck to you. Hopefully you get all these characters too. And peace. Thanks for watching another video by me, Scion Storm. If you like what you see here, please, by all means, like, subscribe, share with all your friends. It really helps me out. And I appreciate everybody who stops by. One love and be legendary. Peace.